Welcome. In this video, we'll discuss about links. How do we add links to HTML pages? Well, we have a tag for that, the A tag, which is known as the anchor tag. So when we use the anchor tag, we're either referring the user, the viewer, to a particular page or place in our website or to an external page in the web. So how do we do this or how do we go about this? First of all, we have to put our eight, which is our anchor tag. So defining our anchor tag helps us with our href. The href means where is this link taking us to? So now to write up a link, you say HTTP hypertext transfer protocol, and you say dot slash, um, sorry, column slash slash, and you state where you're going to. Let's use this for example, apple.com and this one you just create a link automatically so you need to have something in, in between so we could say apple and just save then let's see what uh, what happens when we save okay pardon me this was just a website i was open before okay Okay, so now we have our Apple here, and once we click on it, it refers us straight to apple.com. So we have our nice iPhone 14 Pro here. So you could link your website to any place you want it to link to. You could link it to um, um Samsung. Samsung.com. You can link it to any way of your choice. So you can just play around this and okay. So before you, you before you make a link, you should make sure it is the right link you you are you are referring your clients to. So you might want to check out the link before putting it there. Most times, this website is okay, Samsung. All right. So, after checking, you should. Okay. Samsung.com. Okay, I see my fault. I removed the dot com accidentally. I did not even take note of that. So. When that's corrected, let's go back to our site. Yes, and it leads us straight up to Samsung's website where they advertise the Galaxy Y and so many other stuff right here on their website. So I advise you to just play around with links make sure you you really understand the concept of how links work so what if we're trying to link our to a particular place in our website now this brings us to something like this so we're just going to having a div with an id with um okay i'll just show you what id means so if i write d hashtag then let's say about it means i'm telling the div that it has an identity of about. So more, well, I'm going to explain more later on. So if I say lorem 40, I should have 40 words of lorem. And I just want to duplicate this. So to duplicate again, option shift down arrow key for window from a Mac. Now for Windows, I think you have your your um shift alt then our key okay so you save now i want to check out something first of all so let us leave some song alone okay so we have our our um, article right here so i want to make the article to occupy the width of the screen 
So just give me a minute while I do that. So for us to do that, we just have to duplicate this test a bunch of times. So it actually fills the screen. Okay, fine. So now we do another one. Remember, this has the ID of about. So to close up this point, just hit Command B or Control B. And there you go. That's gone. And this gone also. So we need another div with another ID. So let's say div this time ID of what? Okay. So what is inside here? We're going to pull it and put it in this one. So we we'll copy it and we'll paste it here in such a way that we have so much details on our website. So we have so much details. So to link an individual, maybe if he clicks on Apple, he gets referred to this div that's, that starts from here. So this is the div of what it starts from here. The div of the first div ended here at this point. But the second div starts at this point. So if you want to see that clearer, we could clearly we could also put some um, a line break. So line breaks are used to put spaces between our uh, HTML elements. So we could put br. I think we should have more of that, like two. So okay, let's see. Bam. So we know this is the first and this is the second now. So let us see if we click on Apple, we, we might want the web page to take us quickly to this second one. So now let's see how do we do that? So what we need to do is to come to Apple and where we have this link, since it's an ID, we use the hashtag and we add, what was the name again? What's like my question so what so we save and we check so that's done so if i click on apple you see it automatically takes me to the second div so immediately i click on apple i'm referred to this div okay so what if it is maybe you could add it to here let me show you what i mean so you can make you can make this um this word to maybe below here you want to come back to this about below here you can just make this into a link by adding a href and saying we want to link to about then the word saying about so now we'll look for this in the sentence and then sorry the text over here now just be, just look very well if you'd see okay here it is about so when you click on it you are taken to the first paragraph and when you click on this you're taken to this paragraph that has the about and about leading you to the one at the top so to confirm just look at where we are now we're here now if we click on this we're now here so it actually works so if you do it on your own you find that it really works so that is how we could, you can use link to link it to site externally and also to site internally so thank you very much